Rabbits have always been valuable animals and sadly have a history of being viewed as meat and fur. However, through evolution and selective breeding, some breeds became so adorable, agreeable, and attractive that they also became pets to humans. Nowadays, there are hundreds of rabbit breeds with varying color blends, sizes, and different temperaments. As a result, there are also various factors that play a role in how much you'll pay for a rabbit. And in some cases, the rabbit you've acquired may have been for free as a gift. But what about the other end of the spectrum? What are the most expensive rabbit breeds and what constitutes these high prices? In this video, we will be going through the list of the most expensive rabbit breeds in the world. Hmm, we wonder which one will come in at number one. Stay tuned to the end to find out. And before we continue, bear in mind that adopting a rabbit versus buying a rabbit will also affect your upfront and long-term costs. Adopting a rabbit will always be more cost and time effective as your rabbit will already be spayed and neutered, potty trained, and you'll be saving a life. Moreover, I'd like to make the disclaimer that on this channel, we don't support breeding for profit or placing a high emphasis on breeds when choosing your rabbit. Rather, we believe in the ethics of adoption and that every bunny is valuable and worthy of love. This video is simply meant to share some interesting information about rabbits. Please subscribe, smash the like button, hit that little bell for unlimited bunny content, and let's hop right into this video. Coming in at number 10, the Mini Lop Rabbit. The Mini Lop is a popular breed due to their floppy ears. Originally from Germany, this bunny on average costs about $100 but their price can go up to a few hundred more for some individuals. They weigh between three to six pounds, are quite friendly, very playful, and small in size. Although they are small, they have thick bodies. Their coat is short and dense with varying colors and patterns. Number nine, the Lionhead Rabbit. The Lionhead is intelligent, sassy, but also timid. This rabbit is a Belgian breed with a striking woolly mane that resembles a lion, hence their name. They have a lot of long fur and need to be groomed regularly to prevent knots and mats. As a result, they are best suited for experienced owners. This rabbit costs an average of $150. However, a lionhead rabbit with a double mane versus a single mane may cost even more. Number eight, the Netherland Dwarf. The Netherland Dwarf is known for their small size. They were created by breeding wild rabbits with a Polish rabbit. This rabbit looks like a baby all throughout its life because of their baby face. However, the Netherland Dwarf has a disproportionately large head for its body. As a result, they are known to have a lot of health issues. On average, you'll pay around $90 on the low end and up to $200 for a well-pedigreed Netherland Dwarf from an established bloodline. Number seven, the Holland Lop. Similar to the Mini Lop, this breed is popular for their floppy ears. However, they are one of the smallest breeds of rabbits that exist, only weighing two to four pounds fully grown. The Holland Lop has fetched a maximum price of $910 for just a single rabbit. On average though, you'll likely pay between $50 to $200 for a Holland Lop. Number six, the English Angora. This mini rabbit is of Turkish descent and has a compact body, woolly feet, and a round fluffy face. Their beautiful fur grows constantly, so you should groom them regularly and have their fur professionally cut at least once in every three months. You can get one of these beauties weighing between five to 11 and a half pounds for approximately 150 to 250 US dollars. The most expensive English Angora rabbit with impeccable pedigree was $300. Coming in at number five, the Mini Rex. Tied with the English Angora, on the high end, they can go for up to $250. The Mini Rex Rabbit 
is an American breed. They are a small rabbit, and usually it's their plush and velvet fur that makes them special to touch. Weighing around three and a half pounds, they are descendants of the Rex rabbit and the Netherland dwarf. Number four, the Belgian hare. Approximately six to nine pounds heavy, the Belgian hare rabbit typically costs between $150 to $500, but some top-notch individuals from certain breeders could reach even higher prices. They are known for being a bit skittish, and due to their unusually long legs, they need lots of space to jump and run. Number three, the Harlequin Rabbit. You'll pay anywhere between $900 to $1,000 for a highly pedigreed Harlequin, while a non-pedigreed Harlequin could cost between $50 to $200. These outgoing and social cuties typically weigh between six and a half to nine and a half pounds, and females are almost always heavier than the males. With their trademark two-tone coats, harlequins always stand out from the crowd. The exact origins of the breed are unknown. Brought into the United States in 1917, its status as an extremely rare breed led to an exorbitant cost of $40 for a full-grown adult at the time. Adjusted for inflation, that would be almost $900 in today's money. Next, we have the Continental Giant, or Contis as loving fur parents call them. They come in second place with a total upfront cost of approximately $1,000. While an individual may cost around three to $500, since this German breed is not widespread, you should also count on an additional two to $500 for transportation, depending on the region where you live. These rabbits are larger than a Flemish giant, weighing 25 pounds on average and measuring three feet in length. The problem is that they are expensive for a relatively short lifespan of approximately four to five years. That's about half the lifespan of an average rabbit. You could always get one for less money, but such a rabbit is from an unknown litter and with unknown origin. In 2017, a continental giant named Simon died while in cargo in transit from London to Chicago. It is not recommended to ever put your rabbit in cargo or endanger their life for the sake of transport. This is why choosing a continental giant that may not be available in your area might not be the best idea. Okay, and coming in at number one, drum roll, go ahead, take a guess, comment down below. The most expensive rabbit breed historically goes to a pair of Rex rabbits that were priced at $1,500 in 1930 or $22 thousand dollars adjusted for inflation. These French-born beauties have exceptionally dense and plush fur that led to an almost nationwide craze when they were first introduced to the United States back in the 20s. While even the most well-pedigreed Rex will cost nothing close to this today, their heritage and title as the most expensive rabbits documented in history live on in their genes. Okay, that was quite the list. And again, I just wanna re-emphasize the breed at the end of the day doesn't really matter and every bunny is valuable. In fact, I'd like to use Lennon the bunny as proof. I bought her for $25 back in 2015. Compared to some of these other bunnies, that's not very much at all. She doesn't have a pure pedigree. Her bloodline cannot be traced. Her coat is splotchy and asymmetrical, but that's what makes her unique. And guess what? She's the highest paid rabbit on planet Earth currently and one of the most famous bunnies of all time. So just remember, don't chase the breed and don't chase the price. That's it for now, folks. See you on the next one.